Dearly beloved, I greet you in the name of Lord Jesus. How are you? Are you doing well and staying happy? In our life, there will always be some people against us. They may be in our neighborhood or workplace. There is nothing surprising about it. You might wonder why these people are hating me. Have you wondered like that? They might hate us, speak ill of us and to harm us for no reason. They might plan to hinder our promotion or business or our progress. Have you met people like that in your life too? It's not surprising at all. This world is like that only. Such people will be there in the world. They hate us without any reason at all due to jealousy. They do not like you doing good and coming up in life. You will find such people in this world. Can we avoid them? It's impossible to go to a place where such people are not there. Every place has such kind of people. They might be there in your workplace or even in your ministry. Those who preach the word of God are also like that. But what does the Lord say? Let me read from the Bible in Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 15. It's written, whoever assembles against you shall fall for your sake. The Lord promises those who hate you and plan to harm you today will fall for your sake and help you. What you must do for that, you must love those who hate you. You should not hate them in return. They may hate us, but we should never hate them back. They may consider us as their enemies, but we should not. That's what the Lord says. Those who hate you today may fall for your sake tomorrow. Do people hate you in your town, business, place or workplace? Do not be discouraged at all. Just bless them and pray for them continuously. They will fall for your sake. In the early days of my ministry, there were people who hated me even in the church, people in the ministry hated me. They all hated me because of jealousy as we started conducting prayer meetings and prayer groups. They spoke all false things about me. But the Lord said to me, you just love and forgive them. Bless all of them. I too loved, forgave and blessed them. A few years later, they all fell for my sake. They all became very loving towards me. Yes, we have a wonderful God who changes the hearts of men. You might think that there are people in your home who hate you. They might be there in your town or workplace. Bless them and pray for them continuously. Their hearts will turn for your sake and they will become your friends. They might even start helping you. Those who hated me earlier do help me a lot now. They even speak on my behalf. To defend me, the Lord will make that change. That's why the Lord says, those who assemble against you will fall for your sake. Jesus will do that miracle for you. Do you believe that? If yes, praise him, dear Lord. Though there are people who hate me, complain and rise against me, I love them and bless them that they may do well. Thank you for making them fall for my sake. We pray this prayer in the name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, dear Father. Amen. Amen.